Good morning my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today we're doing healthy food shopping. Controversial subject, right why? Because shopping and food are not healthy. Healthy are people as a result of eating well and having a good lifestyle. So let's go inside and have a look which products are nutritious and which are got sneaky ingredients that may let you down. Let's try to film it. Um, if we won't get kicked, in, kicked out, we'll um, have a look at the, most of the items. All right, so first one is coffee. You got coffee pods and you got coffee beans and ground coffee. Coffee is really great beverage. I already created a video on coffee. I'll put it down below a link. Uh, drink coffee, drink um, without sugar and milk, and it has a lot of health benefits. Um, again, about coffee and sugar, there are a lot of sugar replacements that are um, good for you. Um, and I put it down below uh, in the video description uh, what sugar replacements are good. So, coffee is good to go. Now, all this aisle continue with fructose, sugar, fructose, sugar. None of that is good for breakfast. Um, especially things like uh, considered to be healthy. Um, look at this. It's supposed to be uh, just normal peanut butter. You got peanuts, which is 85% vegetable oil. It's hydrogenated oil. Um, it's basically oxidized, uh, man-made oil that's pretty bad for you. And um, I would not recommend um, having that because it will trigger inflammation in the body. And by the way, peanuts are not nuts, they're legumes. They will trigger uh, inflammation on their own. And with vegetable oils, it's a pretty bad combination. Um, another big um, part of peanut butter is amount of sugar. Let me try to find. Uh, Let's say hundred generated vegetable oil as you can see but sugar is a big one so um, while peanut butter considered to be healthy options by menu it's definitely not stay away from uh, peanut butter if you can use other butters or other quality butters um, definitely nothing in Aldi that you can use um, I'll probably do another video in Woolworths or Coles where they got uh, more expensive options for peanut butters and uh, have uh, pretty natural peanut butters without all the additives. Um, how can you spot the uh, difference between good peanut butter and bad one? The bad one would not have any oil in it, it's basically solid. Solid peanut butter has all the hydrogenated oils. Um, the good peanut butter would have oil floating on top. Um, that's basically good indication that peanut butter is half all right. Again, I did video on honey, honey, industrial honey, uh, being pasteurized and um, heated. Uh, when you heat honey, it loses all its uh, good properties and uh, and with all the fructose, fructose will uh, go to the liver and through the process of uh, uh, novo lipogenesis uh, will um, create uh, fat around the liver and create fatty liver. Nothing good here. So all that honey is basically not good for breakfast. Oats. I'm not against oats, but there's a lot of carbohydrates in them and they also could be cross-contaminated with gluten. If you have to have oats for breakfast, by all means uh, have oats, but um, shouldn't be first choice. I'm not even considering that aisle because all of it is fructose, glucose and sugars in general. It's nothing good for you. Uh, none of the cornflakes are good for you. It's all processed junk food. Literally, it really saddens me how it's promoted for kids. Um, all the fortified vitamins that in those cereals are nothing good. Um, in addition to what they put on top of it. Look at the Mylar, just for example. You take a Mylar and you've got, uh, where's ingredients? Uh, you've got wheat, corn, sugar. Third ingredient is sugar. It's probably more sugar here than any soft drink. It's pretty bad stuff. 
This aisle is going to be pretty bad, but one thing I would suggest, the only one thing that probably good in moderation is 85% cocoa chocolate. The chocolate uh, has only 3.5, I think, grams of sugar um, or fruit or, or uh, yeah, so a little bit of sugar. But if it's one bar, it's actually not bad as a snack. I wouldn't touch it though. Nothing here is good for you. All the processed, uh, every time you see vegetable oil on something, it's pretty bad stuff. So all of the stuff, um, if you're eating a uh, well-balanced diet, shouldn't be consumed. Again, nothing here, nothing here. Um, I was making, uh, I was about to make a video on milk. I would not suggest consuming milk. Uh, there are good alternatives. Definitely not soy milk. Soy milk uh, uh, full of um, uh, estrogen um, promoting properties. So, so in general, it was genetically modified and, and, and not good to consume at all in any shape or form. Uh, soy milk is pretty uh, bad, especially for. Um, uh, people uh, that aging uh, like 30, 40, 50 and above years old um, uh, not good for hormonal disbalance uh, other milks uh, replacing milks all right you can have uh, almond milk just uh, watch for compounds that may say carrageenan carrageenan may um, uh, cause inflammation uh, and amount of sugars as well I think this one is pretty all right as a milk replacement uh, what other things we've got here? Well, that's the aisle that things become a little bit better. I would suggest um, it doesn't really matter whether I have them for uh, breakfast, uh, lunch, or um, dinner, but um, walnuts in the moderation, they're all right uh, amount of um, omega 3s and 6s, uh, but most of them omega 6s. So, in the moderation, what's important in the omegas have uh, more omega 3s than 6s, or at least in balance. Uh, cashews, they're very tasty nut, but uh, they're full of carbohydrates, which will result in insulin spike in your body. I would stay away from them if you can. Almonds are great if you can soak them in the water overnight. Otherwise, that uh, shell they got on top basically will uh, chelate all the minerals in the body. Sunflower seeds are a really good source of vitamin B, which promotes all range of benefits from nervous system all the way to skin. Uh, pepitas, they are literal superfood and now while we're in uh, winter in Australia, pepitas would ensure that you got enough uh, um, zinc and other vitamins to fight uh, potential viruses, really good source of, uh, um, vitamin, uh, of uh, mineral zinc. Chia, pretty good uh, um, and omega-3s uh, and fiber, fiber is really important to get fiber from uh, healthy sources and chia seeds one of those good healthy sources here we've got literal superfood organic coca nibs they are most nutritiously dense food on the shelf and if eaten with uh, uh, other items in breakfast or bacon um, it's pretty good addition to everything um, all of the dried fruit pretty bad, they're all full of fructose. I don't want to even talk about flour. Flour is bad for you, however, look at it. If you would like to bake something, consider almond meal. Uh, almonds are really high in omega-7, which is pretty good nutrient altogether. Now, that's the really good part here. Um, sardines and oysters are um, superfood for those who don't do a vegetarian diet um, oysters really high, uh, high in uh, zinc uh, probably one of the best food to consume to get your daily zinc and oysters are uh, sorry and, and, and sardines are really good uh, source of omega-3s one important thing to remember if you got choice to buy them in oil in barbecue sauce or as you can see in water more popular get in water in oil even if it's olive oil it's not good oil it's all um, olive oil very unstable oil the moment it's heated or exposed to sunlight it's going rancid 
Uh, so I would say, uh, and they're using junk olive oil anyway. So barbecue is a sugar bomb. Uh, oil would be, by the time you open it, already rancid. And water would be good. Just you know, open it up, drain water, and it's super food for you. The reason why sardines are better than salmon and anything else, first of all, it's a small fish. It doesn't have any uh, heavy metals in it. Second, it's packed with skin which basically a uh, biggest source of all the nutrients and salmon most of the salmons come into australia they mostly farm so salmon farm in norway with um, use of antibiotics and other methods so um, i would avoid uh, uh, not avoid it would be preference preference of healthy eating there would be sardines then probably i would choose non-farm red salmon and then go um, pink salmon and then probably tuna. Tuna is a good food once in a while. Uh, very um, big fish, very heavy in uh, uh, very big and heavy metals. Now that's the miracle drink, apple cider vinegar. I'm creating a separate video on that. Um, if you would like to shop local here uh, buy apple cider vinegar, um, it's a good option but um, it's uh, Look, as you can see, it does have uh, some um, unfiltered part, but I think they still filter it pretty significantly. I'll put a link down below in the description of the best uh, apple cider vinegar that uh, is considered to be worldwide and it's on sale uh, in Australia as well. Coconut oil, very healthy saturated fat. If you would like to know um, uh, more about saturated fat, I can create video. But saturated fat is not bad for you, your entire nerve system based on saturated fat. Um, consume in moderation, uh, very good superfood. Um, olive oil is good, just make sure that you buy fresh one uh, and in dark bottles and not heated because uh, olive oil gets rancid um, pretty quick. Other oils that you can find are basically rubbish. Well, rice and other pastas. Um, they are sugar bombs. They come at the gun into body, getting converted into glucose, spike insulin, and make body insulin resistant. I would not touch that aisle if you if you're thinking about healthy eating. And all of that, actually, good stuff here is coconut cream. Coconut cream is really good alternative. Um, I think I created already a video about coffee. Coconut cream is really good alternative to milk in your coffees, morning coffees. If it's too much taste for you, you can use coconut milk, but milk would create, uh, get more carbohydrates in that, which basically sugars. If you can stick with cream in your coffees, really good, even breakfast repla replacement. You can call it bulletproof coffee, pretty good stuff. Everything else is pretty bad here. All right, let's go around the corner. What's in here? Cleaning. Try to go fast through this aisle. Move towards juices. Juices, another one to know that nothing healthy about juices. All the fiber, all the nutrients were taken from just juices, and what you've got here is pure fructose. Uh, if you love your kids, try to save them uh, from all those things. Um, basically, uh, it's a modern phenomenon that uh, by um, age of uh, 18 20 most of the kids got a non-alcohol fatty liver it is pretty bad stuff um, there's no healthy juices whatever whatsoever doesn't matter what they put on the label um, kombucha might be good and to look at the level of sugar the whole idea of the kombucha it's a fermented drink um, and all sugar should be fermented or majority of it if there's some sugar left or they added sugar, it's not good. But if sugar less than 2 grams per 100 milligrams or milliliters, it's a pretty good drink. Coconuts. I love coconuts. I like coconut cream. I'm okay with coconut milk, coconut water. Don't touch it. It's uh, no sugar added. Yeah, good stuff. There's a lot of uh, sugars uh, naturally occurring in coconut water. Pure carbohydrate and uh, I wouldn't touch it. Now you've got normal waters. Um, I would say if you can drink your water from a tap filtered. Uh, water was, uh, uh, you don't know what origin of that water, plus it's already in plastic. It's a lot of chemicals uh, leaching into, into the drink. 
um, now there's a section of uh, fridges with uh, vegetables I would say if you can consume your vegetables frozen the reason is that they snap frozen at the field they're not uh, oxidized uh, like fresh vegetables it looks like it naturally looks like fresh vegetables are better um, I would say no buy them frozen uh, cook and eat straight away by the way when I refer to vegetables definitely not potatoes those are totally denatured uh, full of uh, uh, hydrogen rated fats and other poisons do not touch those potatoes all right what we've got here another really good um, uh, food olives just be careful with the uh, sodium content sodium is not bad um, just need to be careful about um, uh, quality of that sodium if you buy salt I would suggest buying uh, sea salt or Himalayan salt do not buy um, uh, just normal bleached salt um, nothing good for you there may uh, rise uh, blood sugar right uh, fruit consume in moderation I would say stay away from sweet fruit um, a bit of pear all right uh, a bit of apple all right apple goes to a point where it's too much fructose and, and um, not enough fiber but it's still okay if you eat half apple to apple a day um, everything in moderation here be careful with bananas people with bananas because of the potassium there are better ways to uh, get potassium bananas are really full of uh, fructose this is the best stuff if you can stomach avocados if you like avocados one avocado a day oh, I don't want to even start talking about avocados they've got full profile of nutrients and uh, minerals in them avocado is a miracle uh, miracle fruit and um, it's not a vegetable I think it's a fruit uh, avocado is a miracle fruit uh, consume it um, in moderation it's very uh, calorie dense however it's not calories in calories out um, it's good to consume one to maybe even two avocados a day uh, potatoes a bit um, sweet potatoes a little bit better stay away from them but if you must sweet potatoes are better than normal potatoes all of that stuff is great if you can get it uh, frozen would be good if not fresh stuff is good ginger oh ginger is super food doesn't matter whether you buy it fresh or powdered it has a lot of uh, anti-inflammatory uh, compounds consume it consume it as much as you can there's no harm in it only benefits that's really good stuff all right we're coming to mid section be careful about meat uh, cheap or expensive it doesn't really matter what cut you choose if your meat come from grain fed cattle that means everything that was uh, they were feeding will reside in the flesh so you're basically eating those antibiotics and 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 uh, result of a calf supposed not to eat uh, grains at all it's supposed to uh, eat grass so non-grass fed meat um, would have uh, quite adverse effect you won't get any omegas in it you get a lot of uh, bad fats and all of that but if you must uh, try not to choose um, that stuff three star means would have so much of bad fat try to go for leaner cuts i'm not sure if i'll get leaner cut yeah, yeah look um, four star means uh, you've got uh, grass fed it's much better option I'm not sure of the price but look um, if you if you put price on health um, that's your choice uh, try to go grass fed as much as you as you can um, pork a really good meat um, try not to overcook uh, top into crackling but otherwise really good fat profile and you know the top skin of the pork much better than what they call marbling so if you already eat, uh, uh, eat fats from a pork try to get the top bits um, lamb um, too fatty even even though if you could be in ketogenic diet uh, fat is not really good stuff chicken doesn't matter how lean you go you uh, get some chicken fat it's one of the worst uh, fat profiles from uh, animal try to stay away from the chicken and they're also full of hormones and other things so uh, if you can choose any other meat but chicken that's great if you choose chicken try to go as lean as you can 
what we got here oh my goodness that's your um, fructose bombs here tasty um, all the stuff is good uh, if you can get frozen again get frozen but there's nothing wrong with the pile and by the way uh, what's wrong here is I guess cashews they uh, uh, too sweet uh, apricots basically uh, fructose um, don't go uh, mix nuts both things are good but they um, very uh, calorie dense uh, don't touch that look at this that's your fructose with fructose and bits of fructose uh, that will go straight to your liver and create liver disease or oh, that's even worse the white chocolate you got glucose and fructose choose something uh, that is better for you like um, the best nut you can choose would be macadamia nut uh, very rich in omega 7s it's basically one donut it's, it's actually there's no better nut than macadamia i know it's pricey but that's the second best would be if we've got any pecans you cannot see pecans um, but then you got walnuts and then almonds almonds in moderation all right cheeses cheese is good for you however just remember um, I, I think I created a video already if not I will um, be careful with made it's made of milk and milk uh, industrial milk is mostly a1 casein protein um, goat's cheese would be a2 everything created from a2 uh, casein protein or uh, aged would be good so nothing here is aged good cheeses would be I guess uh, uh, Parmesan would be aged cheese. It's a it's a better option. Uh, all the tasty cheeses are pretty good. Uh, Parmesan would be uh, all right ish. Goat cheese would be the best if you can. Right. What else we got here? Oh yeah, uh, feta is really a good cheese. I just need to drain all the oil. And look, look at the aged cheese here. Um, pretty good stuff um, if you're getting cheese get uh, the hardest as possible it's aged a lot of uh, good enzymes good bacteria um, so don't go too soft go uh, on hard cheeses all right milks that's what we're talking about that it should be a choice a2 uh, is basically indication of uh, casein protein so A2 it's what you would like to drink. Uh, this rest of the milks will be A1 casein protein, which is uh, inflammatory. The only not healthy part of A2 milk or any milk um, is the amount of um, lactose in it. Lactose it's a naturally occurring uh, sugar in the milk. Um, look, if you can stay away from milk would be great, but if you already have to consume it, consume A2. At least you've got one bit ingredient which is lactose and not uh, lactose and casing which is a1 very inflammatory comes to the body and creates a lot of inflammation um, very good oil a lot of good fish when you buy fish um, try to buy uh, fatty cuts like salmon or uh, I don't know other things but um, stay away from uh, Norway stuff they farm uh, the farm feed, uh, farm uh, raised uh, fish and salmon, and it's uh, pretty bad ingredients going into water. Um, all of that stuff is pretty bad, sugar, sugar, sugar. But this corner, yeah. look at this, you got amazing yogurt. And by the way, you can buy two kilos for below nine dollars. Two kilos of that yogurt, really good bacteria, uh, very little amount of sugar. Um, I'm not sure, I think uh, Chabani or Jalna would be um, competitors in Woolworths or Coles. But if you're an Aldi, that should be your choice. Or if you want smaller ones, this is a really good choice. All other ones, uh, to be honest, um, just sugar bombs going straight to liver and uh, make your uh, liver fatty. I'm not sure, look if you really would like fruit in your, um, in your yogurt, chop a little bit of your own fresh fruit and add stevia or uh, erythritol or monk fruit to make it uh, sweet do not consume this this is really not healthy now we're moving into bread see all of that 
there's nothing good here. It doesn't really matter whether it's a wholemeal, multigrain, or uh, a white bread, or even sourdough, or even 85% uh, high protein. It's um, baked with the hydrogenated fats. It's a lot of gluten in there things that come into your body and inflame everything and you know how people are talking about antioxidants and all of that this stuff will create oxidative stress in the body so you don't want to create uh, things that oxidize your organs to then consume antioxidants um, you cannot outdo your diet so try not to consume anything that oxidizes your uh, create oxidative stress on your body the only good stuff here is eggs Eggs are fantastic, but um, if you can choose uh, cage-free or free-range and pasture-raised, I'm not sure if they're here, um, but pasture-raised will have a lot of uh, omega-3s in them and the healthiest part of the egg is actually egg yolk. Uh, egg whites are pure protein and it's a bit of inflammatory. If you cook with eggs, try to um, I know drain or separate egg whites. But if you um, eat eggs, nothing wrong with them, up to I don't know, four or six eggs a day. Uh, amazingly nutritious food. Probably the, the food that has in vitamin E out of food that I know. Anyhow, that's the Aldi shopping today. Hope it was helpful. And if it was helpful, if you would like to see me uh, chicken, uh, Woolworths or Coles or any other major supermarket and doing grocery haul with you, I will do that. Thank you so much for watching. Greg.